like five months since I've done a video and so many people are wondering when I'm going to come back with. Am I going to come back with just this revelation that I found the Ark of the Covenant, the one true thing of this world, the meaning to life? And yes, actually, I have found the meaning to life, not the Ark of the Covenant, but the meaning to life, and see this right here, it's just destruction, right? I'm in Japan right now doing the tsunami relief. And it's like all this destruction, but through all of this, there are so many people here trying to help from all fucking over the place. And you see all this unity and togetherness, and it's fucking hope is what it is. It's faith in good nature. And it's like, it doesn't have to be here, though. Do you know what I mean? Kevin did dun 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 so that's me in Japan a few weeks ago, standing on top of an abandoned school in front of nature's practical joke. Now I'm not going to get into a detailed explanation of everywhere that I was, because honestly, this isn't a Travelocity commercial. All that shit really isn't relevant at this moment. I put a brief description in the description box below of everywhere that I was. But the last place I was in was Japan, and I was doing tsunami relief. See, a lot of people died there, and a lot of people suffered. A lot of people are still suffering. And it's not just going on there, though. People are suffering all over the globe, in our own backyards. Turn on the news, and it's gone. Where did it go? Is everyone just forgetting? Yes, they are, because the media is allowing them to, because they want to feed you mindless bullshit, because it sells. I mean, some of it is understandable, because... Did you see the royal wedding? Her dress was, it was so beautiful, right? I, it, had, it was made of fabric. And it was so expensive. And then, and then it was, that made it ten times better because of the price tag. And then the cake had, you know, cake. Like every other fucking cake. And it made it exquisite because it was so expensive. And I just, I wanted one. I, I wanted to put it in my refrigerator, and I wanted to eat it. No, I didn't. I wanted to take pictures of it. I wanted to lay naked next to it, and maybe, maybe pretend for a minute, for a minute, that I was on the cake. It was me on the dirt, and I was watching the. I was filming the fuck. Do not see what's happening. All that shit is just a distraction from what's going on in the rest of the world. We are forgetting what is going on everywhere else. We are fed mindless bullshit. Yesterday was a continuation of today. Yesterday's soap opera is today's and it goes on and on and on and it just repeats. We're taught to believe that only our lives matter. Only our wife, only our kids, only our immediate relatives. But if you're sleeping in your bedroom while the rest of the house is on fire, whether you want to believe it or not, you are still going to fucking burn to death too. Wait, so you're saying I need to buy like more fire extinguishers or something, but what did you say about the royal wedding again? D did I miss something? Look, we owe something to each other. We owe greatness to ourselves and to this world. Inside of you a divine force lies dormant, capable of destroying or rebuilding this earth. And inside of us also lies compassion, but it's being held prisoner by ignorance. See, I did learn something. I used to believe that compassion was dead. I used to think that no one cared anymore, but I was wrong. Compassion isn't dead, it's just confined. Because we stopped trusting each other and started becoming more and more skeptical of each other's intentions. We started teaching hatred and paranoia in our schools. We've replaced faith with skepticism and real unconditional love with fear and judgment. We can't even follow our gut instincts anymore because we're taught that if we follow our hearts, we could be wrong, and that is too risky. What will we do then? Well, we'll just be lost, and then we'll die. Yes, we might get lost, but I would rather be lost and have control of the wheel than sitting in the back seat of my own fucking life. So many people are terrified about what their next step in life is going to be. So what do they do? They go out and they conform. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing bad about conformity as long as you believe in it. But so many people don't. They just see that it's the safer choice to make. Because if everybody's doing it, well shit, they can't all be wrong, can they? It must be right. And God forbid the person who stands against them. They get burned at the fucking stake for being a heretic. By their family, their friends, the media. And I sit here and I think, it's it's no wonder we live in countries that take advantage of us. Because if we can't stand strong alone, there's no fucking way we can stand strong united. Unity doesn't make you a stronger person, it just makes you a stronger group. If the individuals in a group are weak, then the whole unit is weak. So what's the solution? Just be 
an individual. Be a good person. It's become so cliche and corny to even say those things anymore because they've become taboo. They've been forgotten. Look, you don't have to be original to be an individual because honestly, mostly everything's been done before anyway. And you don't have to make ridiculous fashion statements either. Just find something that you truly believe in and follow it through to the end. I mean, at this point, I don't give a shit who disagrees with me or not. I have family and friends who don't agree with what I'm doing. And I don't hate them. I just have to remind them that they're not me. Because at the end of the day, when I look back at all that I've done, it's not going to be them there with me. Because they can't take my regrets away. And when I look in the mirror, it is not their face that I see. How often do we do things based on what other people think? How often do we fear their judgment? Fuck their judgment. The less you worry about their judgments, the less you will judge. Most people will value your actions not on the basis of the actions themselves, but on the basis of how widely accepted that action is. If you decide you want to make a difference in this world and you want to do great things, or you want to follow something that you love, most people will applaud you. But if you quit your job to do it, or you take a road less traveled, they will call you a fucking nutcase. But it would only be out of concern. That's what happens. They say, I'm only concerned about you. That's why I can't support your decision. But in reality, it's because they're afraid of your decision. Because it's too risky for them. You are meant to live their lives, and they are meant to live someone else's. When one fall, we all fall. It's the domino effect. But stand as an individual, and you won't. Inside of us, we possess something so great that can't be tainted by anything. And that's love, compassion and drive. It's a fire that fuels us to do great things. And we can't be afraid of ourselves. And once we get over that fear, we can stand together. And we can say that we've made a blood oath. That there's no going back now. That we've remembered our priorities. That we will give our fucking lives to each other. That we will protect the weak. We will shelter the homeless and the sick. We will value every life and we will give new meaning to humanity. We will give our souls to to these people to bring back hope and togetherness. Not because we're supposed to, but because we are one. Because there is no other way. Because our strength belongs to everyone. Until death do we part. Damn it, I love this place. I do. But I need to go now and catch up on a shitload of messages you guys have sent me over the past five months. Alright, I'll see you guys soon, alright? Love you. here somewhere. It's, oh, here it is. And go. Where were you during the London riots? Uh, Shoot. I wasn't in the country. I wasn't anywhere near London. Okay, what was your involvement, though? Nothing. Were you, were you a mastermind? No. I didn't kidnap you for you to tell me you had nothing to do with it. I didn't know anything about it. I just read about it. The really? Same as you. you. Who burned down the bakery? I didn't was know. Was it was it Bob? I didn't. Do you know a Bob? I I might know Bob, but I didn't. Oh, know. there it is. There it is. Yeah. Where's Harvey Dent, though? I'm sure you know Bob too. No. No. no the only Bob I know Most is the one that you know, know from burning down the bakery. No. Where's Harvey Dent? I don't know. I don't know Harvey Dent. Where, Harvey Dent. Where's Harvey Dent? I don't know.